In this video, I'll go over uh, incremental input, which can be used for uh, rotary dials uh, and rotary switches and even normal switches. Um, and we'll go over some uh, UFC controls here in the F18 as an example. So uh, to start off with, the volume is a common um, rotary dial you'll see and everything. So let's do that first. If we take a incremental input, here and look up the volume knob. Uh, here we see UFC COM1 volume knob. And uh, you'll notice it has a range of 0, 1, um, but it's actually a lever type or, or an axis type. Um, so it doesn't have a click value. So um, we'll have to manually input what we want. Uh, and you'll see that we can kind of tune this value to see how sensitive we want it to be. Um, so let's send this to uh, the DCS command and, and this takes in a button ID and device ID as the other uh, switch and momentary buttons do uh, but it also takes in the DCS ID of the value so it um, can increment from the current value uh, and the other inputs it has also is the uh, increment by value of how much it should increment and then the range so uh, if we import this uh, we'll see it gets the 0, 1, and 0, and we'll need to update that in a bit. Uh, and then just for visibility, let's put the title text, uh, set it to the value as well. Um, and that can see help us see what we're doing here. So uh, with it set as 0, if you press the button, nothing changes here. Uh, but what we can do is do a increment of 0 0.01 is at 0 0.02 and now if we press the button we see it goes up by 0 0.01 and it's just ever so slightly changing here. Uh, so what we can do is we can increase this the gain of this value uh, to even higher values and it'll go faster and we can even do like a quarter of the range at a time if we want. We can go three quarters and then full max. Uh, now, if we keep trying to press this, it won't go any further because it's at the max. Um, however, we select this checkbox, allow cycle to beginning. Now it will cycle back to zero and can go all the way around multiple times. Another thing we can do is uh, this right now there's no... Um, rotational view of, of the images here. So it's, it's pretty much a static image. Uh, there's some little rotation I have in here, but uh, so some things you can do is potentially have the title text here. If, if you just care about the max value, you could potentially provide a string when the max is reached, uh, something like this, that when you're rotating through, it's empty and then it gets the max. Um, or empty yet. Don't personally like it that much, but uh, there's plenty of options here. Uh, another thing that could be done is uh, having a separate image um, that you could set at some value. Um, but again, it's just two images um, with the stream deck states right now. Uh, so let's look at the uh, COM channel selector knob here. Uh, so let's do another rotary input and look up this item. Do COM and here, uh, so here there's COM1, there's two items and one of these is a button and the other one is an axis. Uh, so this button um, is actually the, the pressing in of this knob and then the axis is actually the rotation of it. So if we select the rotation, now we'll see there's uh, still the range of 0 to 1, but a click value of 1. And let's send that to the command. And let's also monitor the value, too. So, uh, so right now the value is at 0.18. And if we press the button while the increment value is 1, we'll see it actually cycles up, but it doesn't change the value. Uh, so if we try 
doing something like 0 0.1. We'll see it also continues to cycle up, but the the value is not really uh, changing um, in an understandable way. So uh, I haven't really found what is uh, truly going on here, but it, it the uh, sending one repeatedly, it, it never triggers this max range because the value doesn't change. So you can continue going up and it will cycle back to the beginning. Uh, so one thing you can do with this is, let's say it's at six right now, we can set this to negative one. So on press, it would go down. Um, and if you wanted to save a button spot, if you had this display, uh, you could also set this to the same command. And then this value would be the Oops. Sorry, if, if I, since this is a momentary button press, if I press this and then release, it'll send the one and then it'll send zero. So it'll go up and then back down. So what we can do is disable the release. So it just adds one and you can continue to increment and then you can use this button down here to decrement. So if you want one way to have an up and down um, with a display, that's one way of doing it. 